Okay, just gonna be probably two short videos this week. Middle of the week, end of week, just because, well, I was late. So, first of all, we're doing some pruning. Yeah, it's a little hard to see that sucker in there. That's a leaf that was down off of the main vine. He's like looking at the back of our leaves, making sure your stalks are good. You know, you can see a lot from the back of a leaf. This one looks good. Look at that sucker. Boom! They get that big when the vines are nipped off of the sides over here. Those leaves get massive in the greenhouse. So where are we at with the main vine? Well, we started way back by that fan, grew it through here. Tried to set a pumpkin right here, didn't work. Tried to set a pumpkin right here, didn't work. Curled it back around over here. Come over here, oh, 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 oh. Comes right here, watch out, watch out. There you go, goes back there. Comes over here, 30 feet to the wall here. Climbs back there, comes back around here. And now it's somewhere underneath there. I just leave it grow and take the secondaries off. I'll probably grow it back around here. And if it decides to keep growing, it'll keep growing. So we are sitting at like day 20 something with the Marantzer. And there she is. This is the time of year where a lot of people, including myself, question our sanity with giant pumpkin growers. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Why do we continue? It's ridiculous because you always have issues, problems. And you just are like, what the heck? And then you get something growing like this sucker. And you're like, yes. It's amazing. I can't wait to do it again next year. This is why we do it. She's putting on a lot of inches every day right now. Big stem. You remember those little issues that we had earlier? Well, they all dry up. You just keep her, keep her dry. No issues there. Cracks on stem. That's good. It's just growing. So there's a Marantzer. She's not gonna win any beauty contests, but I don't go for beauty contests. That seems orange though. Now it's the Gettys plant. I like to watch it every week. Half the time I'm doing these videos for myself, not necessarily for everybody else, but it gives me something to look back on to see if I can notice any problems with the plant. See if there's any issues that I wasn't aware of. So I'll watch the videos next year. It's my diary, basically. This is how I keep it. So this is why I do it. I like to look it all over. And I'll go back and see what adjustments we need to make for the next year. Because there isn't everything perfect. I mean, this right here, where the first started, the leaves are still green, but they're not as big. Kind of tells me that this side of the greenhouse needs a little bit of work because right in here I'm just noticing some deficiency so I think my soil isn't quite right you know when people do soil tests and stuff like that they might think about one little area like where the plant goes well I think about my entire 60 foot by 30 foot area I want this whole thing to be perfect the soil has to be perfect throughout so I'll be taking some soil samples from right in this area and see what is going on there. Because if you look over here, the leaves are a lot bigger, more uniformed. Here, something's going on. So stuff that you guys can watch for when you're growing your own. And same thing with that one. There's a little deficiency in the middle here, not on the sides, but in the middle. So there's a couple of little areas. Something's going on right down the middle of my, my soil. I take it is probably a little off there. So we need to get that back to where it needs to be. But Neither here nor there. Dun, 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 the Gettys. She's plodding along, baby. It's like three inches in circumference a day. I mean, it's just nothing fast. Just blump, blump, blump. Keeps getting bigger, keeps getting bigger, keeps getting bigger. That's what we like. She ain't breaking any world records, but she dang sure is growing. I'm loving her. It's gonna be fun to see what she looks like at the end of the season. I know I talked to Steve earlier. Steve Gettys is who grew the mama. And he, his Gettys pumpkin had a bit of a weird 
like one of the sides was kind of caved in on the back so he he thinks it could have easily went 2500 pounds if it was more uniform well this one's kind of got a bit of a hump on her she's got a little hump to her in the middle so it goes like that but uniform so it's not like i'm losing any weight on her like he was so this one here is more uniform just a different shape so there she is now stay tuned because i know what everybody likes everybody likes a contest am i right well stay tuned because she's coming okay obviously we've been a little slow on our updates this week what are we at wednesday of the next week so i gave you a video last week and now we're wednesday of the next week um the plant it's fine i'm not as happy with it this year as i was last year and a lot of that has to do with my own pushing it to its limits type thing i got it too wet in here so i've had to like slow it down right buddy yeah. we're, we're trying to dry it out too right now moist and... it was too moist yep but anyways are the pumpkins growing that's the question girls what do you think I think yeah. so. we are at which plant do you know which one this one is the 1990 Marenter. So we're gonna do a quick looky see. Pull her all the way off. There it is. That's pretty good. What do you think? Put your hand on it. The ugly little duckling little duckling is still fun. growing. The 1990 Marenter. She's actually growing pretty quick. So it looks pretty good. But we have something more fun planned, don't we, tonight? Yeah. All right. Let's go over to the other pumpkin. All right, and now we are at the 2304 Gettys, and it's one of our favorite times of the year. What are we going to do, guys? We're going to name, name the pumpkin. pumpkin. That's right. Actually, you are going to name the pumpkin, just like last year. Everybody had a lot of fun time. We'll give away a seed and maybe some of the extra little goodies along with it. But it's finally at the stage where we think that this girl deserves a name, right? Yeah. So you're going to give us your names. These three are going to... Each choose their favorite one. Right, Kate? Keep in mind that your vote will be highly um, considered by me if it's a boy name. So, we don't care that these are girls. They don't have to be named girls. It could be boy name too, right, buddy? Yeah. And <laughs> he likes the boy name. So. No more snowballs. <laughs> or girls. So, so we can do that, but without further ado, let's lift the sheet off and let's see where we're at here. Somewhere around day 50 something ish. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know where we're at, but it's a nice orange pumpkin. It's starting to really push this way. So we're probably gonna have to pull it, which is a good problem to have. So there it is. Good orange, nice looking pumpkin. Um, we need a name for this girl. Anybody got any names in mind? You should tell me beforehand. How about you, Elsa? You got a name in mind? No? No names, Kate? No. No, I have to say. Nobody? Bert? Yeah. Betty? Yeah. Cole? Cole? I wanted that to be Well, yes. we don't know what the I name is, one. so you guys need to, yeah. all right? I have one. Put your yeah. guesses in. And we will have a little contest. Three names have been chosen, and we'll figure out a way to pick the one out of that. All right, guys? Good luck to everybody. Peace. Good luck.